Before I could start painting the interior, I sanded all of the parts with a 600 grit, and I also needed to apply a couple of the photo edge pieces for some of these speaker grills. These were just glued on with some super glue. On the third and final speaker grill, I did make a little bit of a mistake. And when I say a little bit, I mean a lot of it. As it is completely wrong, it needs to be on the rear door panel. So if I would have known that at this point, I would have fixed it. But I eventually found out after the entire interior was painted and fully assembled. So I figured I'd just leave it and move on to the rest of the build as this is just a super small detail that will probably never be seen. But now that I've mentioned it to you guys, all of you will know, so that makes it kind of worse. So anyway, all of the parts were primed first with some liquid surface primer from Tamiya, and then I moved on to painting pretty much everything in a flat black, also from Tamiya in their LP range, apart from a small couple of pieces that I painted in a gunmetal as the accenting pieces that could have been done in carbon fiber, but I decided to keep it easy and simple and paint them gunmetal as that is a good enough look for me. I then left the parts overnight to dry, masked up the rear seats and sprayed some flat clear coat on the main floor pan. And while that was still fully wet, I moved on to applying the flocking on top of it so that the clear coat acts as a glue for the flocking to stick to it and then create that sort of carpeted look. I let it sit for a couple of minutes to just dry a little bit and then move on to removing the excess material and then letting it cure fully for a couple of hours. On the interior I'm keeping it fairly simple and not going overboard as the main exterior color is going to be the showpiece for this build and with the interior being black none of the details will really be all that visible so I'm just going for a clean and simple look highlighting a couple of pieces with some gun metal that could have obviously been done with carbon fiber decal but as I said I wanted to keep it simple and this gun metal gives it a really nice classy finish and doesn't really go over the top, but just blends in nicely. Once the gunmetal was applied, I could move on to highlighting a couple of the buttons with some flat black and also doing a little bit of detailing on the leather pieces surrounding the gear shifter. With the door panels being painted in a flat black, the grills for the speakers didn't really stand out all that much, so I decided to just add a little bit of a semi-gloss black on top. Now, after I finished it, there were a couple of brush strokes that were pretty visible. It didn't really look all that great, but nonetheless, it did not look exactly the same as all the other pieces, and once it is fully assembled, it will be pretty much hidden entirely. The door pulls themselves were painted with a silver just to let them stick out a little bit more. For the actual pedals, there were some photo edge pieces included in the kit, although I have no idea why they did that as the pieces on the floor pan itself are already fully detailed. They were painted black, masked off, then the carpet was added, and with a simple bit of dry brushing and some silver paints, it completely transformed them. On the steering wheel, there was a small decal with the logo that needs to be placed in the center. And also the same goes for the dashboard. The gauges were added and the main uh, navigation screen or uh, just screen in the center was put on too. In the 
kit there is a photo etch sheet included for some seat belts. I decided not to use that as I don't really like metal seat belts. So I decided just to change them out with some actual fabric ones, glued those in place, and I did decide to use the hardware for the seat belts that was also included in the kit. So as you can see, the seat belts are in a sort of silver gray color, and that is to match with the actual calipers for the exterior. So those two blend in a little bit as well, but you will see that in the next episode when I actually put those on too. With the belts now installed, I could move on to adding some final details like the actual buckles and also start the final assembly on the rest of the interior. Before closing up the interior, there was a small detail on the buckle itself that needs to be added to that was simply done with a little bit of red paint. And after assembling the dashboard, the interior is completed for now. Now this interior isn't really supposed to assemble together like you see in regular kits. The actual door panels need to be glued on the inside of the body. And the same goes for the dashboard. So this is just a bit of a dry fit mock-up uh, taped together to give you a sort of idea what the actual interior looks like once it is all put together. But again, that will be shown in the final episode once it is put properly in place where it actually needs to be.